All right, guys. So let's talk about biscuits. All right. Uh, these are going to be the new quote unquote topping 2.0. All right. Uh, that we have gotten with the new update. All right. So if you guys didn't notice, if you guys already go to your cookie section here, then you're going to be able to see that this icon has been squished and has made room for another section, which is going to be biscuits. All right, so we have the topping and the skill and now the biscuit. And this is going to be only attainable through the beast yeast exploration. Story, normal, and hard. They all provide different rarities. Um, and for story, it's going to be rare and common. And then normal is going to be epic and rare. And the common. And then hard is going to give you a chance of getting legendary as well as epic, rare, and no common. So, uh, these biscuits are pretty OP. Alright, without a doubt, they are pretty OP. So, let's talk about how they work and what you need to focus on, what you should be upgrading, whether you should be upgrading some of them or not, and, uh, like, the whole thing. First of all, it's divided into four different rarities, just like I stated, legendary, epic, rare, and common. Common ones, you definitely don't want to upgrade. Rare ones, you do want to stay away from upgrading. Epic ones, you can upgrade, but probably you should uh, try to hold off until you get the legendary one. I mean, kind of self-explanatory. The reason why is because the number of substats that you're able to get. Substats are very similar uh, to how it is with the toppings. Except there are a couple that has been added, and that's going to be damage resist the bypass. And the maximum you're able to get is 15%. Like, 15%. That is insane, all right? Um, and you're able to upgrade uh, the biscuits as well. So, now let's talk about how the biscuits work and, uh, you know, all the different sections. Each of these biscuits can be leveled up all the way up to level 20. Level 20 is the maximum uh, level, I believe, that you're able to get them. And each with each level, you're going to be able to upgrade the attack and HP of that particular biscuit. The biscuit can only be equipped by that class, all right, or the class that is uh, it is going to be for. So this one is for defense. This one is for charge. This one's for ambush. It's going to be indicated by the icons. So you need to go and equip it to that particular class, all right? And there's the substats. These substats can only be activated if the icon on the left signifies the icon of the class that you're equipping the biscuit for. For example, I have this legendary one, all right? You can see that I have defense, support, charge, as well as magic. Only the stat here, 8.4 damage resist, is activated because this is for defense. So I cannot take effect of the attack 4%. I can't take uh, the effect of the debuff resist 3.1% because this is for charge. In order to change that, you have to attune. And attuning, it's expensive. You can only do it with crystals. So it's honestly going to be best if you get something that has multiple of the you know effects like this already. Uh, because you don't want to be spending a ton of crystals or in case you have like, you know, damage resist uh, bypass 15% or something like that. Or cooldown 6%. Something that's insane, alright? So, let's talk about, uh, you know, how to farm them and some of the process and the mindset that you guys should be keeping uh, before you go into the, you know, whole farming aspect of things. Alright, so first of all, I have uh, Finis here, I have Crimson Coral and White Lily that I'm using. So, I want to go and farm this 1-1. One, one. So, I'm going to farm this 1-1. One, one. I can do it two times right now. We'll see if I get a Legendary. I don't get a Legendary, but I got two of the Epic Biscuit. So, I'm going to go to White Lily right now. Alright, and let's see what I got. This one has Attack and Defense. Not bad, right? This one right here has HP and Damage Resist, but I also do have Attack and Defense here. So, I'm going to equip this real quick. So... Right now, I don't have a legendary one. I'm going to use this as an example. For everybody, you should definitely try to upgrade and attune the legendary one if possible, all right? But if you can't be hard one, then you're going to have to level up the epic one, all right? So, we have attuning. 
So this damage resist right here, 6.2% is for support. So I need to attune this and hope that I get a bomber one. Keep in mind, you can only do it a certain amount of times. All right, so hopefully I can get this to the bomber one again. The more and more you do it, the more expensive it gets. So that's the reason why you want to try and only do this if it is for a legendary one. I'm just doing this as an example. Man, I might not even get a bomber one. Boom. Done. I can't even get a bomber one. So like this is, an, this is a horrible example that I got. But this one is a scrap because now the third effect is completely useless. So... Again, this is Topping 2.0. It is another way to gain a lot of the extra substats, but it is, again, another RNG factor. And a tuning cost crystal, which, in my opinion, is pretty expensive. All right, it can get definitely really, really, really expensive. I would say if three out of four, you can get three out of four, it's not bad. Uh, but the substats you want to focus, of course, are going to be attack, you know, damages this uh, as well as cooldown and the damage this bypass depending on your cookies um but let's talk about resetting so these are going to be resetting your substats so these classes are going to stay the same but you're going to reset the substats so we have the reset all button as well as individual resetting of one particular slot let's take a bad one for example so i have two of the bomber stat but they're really really bad right then um, I'm just going to go and click reset all. Boom. Now everything changed and I can see that it is a cooldown and attack, which is really, really good, right? Uh, but for example, I'm going to, this is going to be expensive, but you know, you want to get rid of one specific one. Then you're going to cl click on this one, but this one is going to cost the radiant biscuit dough. All right. Um, you don't want to normally do this unless... It's like you have, for example, let's see. Uh, let's say this one right here. Uh, yeah, let's say this one. And then you have uh, three out of, or you have uh, four out of four, but some like, you know, this is damage resist. This is attack. This is cooldown. And then this one right here is like HP. You don't want HP. So you want to do a specific reset. Then you want to use the specific reset and change just that substat. But it does cause Radiant Biscuit Dough. How do you get Radiant Biscuit Dough? The only way of getting Radiant Biscuit Dough right now is from breaking down these biscuits. But you got to realize it's going to be random. So right now you can see that result is, you know, you don't know what it is. Boom. We got six. So it's a random chance. If you look at it right here, it says a breaking down. You have a certain chance of receiving Radiant Biscuit Dough. So that's pretty much the breakdown of the biscuit so how should you go about upgrading these things i would say the first thing is of course uh try to farm this and get the one that has most of the stat or the class first all right so you want to attune these okay um or you know you want to try to get one that you don't need to attune as much uh, right now let's see here um i have damages i have attack uh, i have damages here so i'm gonna try to tune this one here um let's see if i can get a defense oh boom right there that's great so i got defense right here uh so i can activate the second damage resist as well all right now uh, so there is that one we have attack here as well uh let's try to tune this one can i get lucky nope not this one so now it's getting more expensive it's getting more expensive. Boom. There we go. Defense again. So I got attack here as well. It's it's not bad. Um, but I would say this one here is pretty bad too. So I'm going to go and boom. Oh, do that one. Okay. I have all of this now. Now the resetting happens. I have these, but these are all low. The color indicates, right, whether uh, they're high number or low. Uh, so the gray ones are all the low. And then uh, this one's decent. And then we had the blue one. We had the uh, purple one. And I believe the orange one. Well, orange one is the maximum. So um, I have... I, these are all whatever. So I'm just going to reset all. And then boom. I got attack 5.7. Amplify buffs uh, 4.8. Cooldown 3.6. And attack 6.5. Uh, not bad. 
but we definitely want more damage resist on Crimson Coral. So we're going to try to do this again. We got damage resist. We got damage resist bypass. Eh, okay. Not bad, but not the best either. We're going to just keep going. Wow. So you can see right there that purple is really, really high. Okay. We're going to see if we can get more damage resist ones. Mm, this is not bad either. We got damage resist 5.7. Uh, we got damage resist 6.3, but damage resist, the highest you can get is five, uh, 10%. So we're, we'll try a little bit more. See right there, that orange one is the maximum number right there that you can get. Okay. Uh, these are farmable by just playing uh, the beast east uh, stage as well. So boom. Okay. This one's not bad. All right. I'm going to, I might just keep this one for now. So we have 9.1% damage resist. All right. We got 9.8% attack speed. That, that is actually insane uh, subset right there. 9.8%. Uh, and then we got 4.2% cooldown as well as 3.6% attack. Not bad. So I'll keep this. If I really wanted to switch it, uh, maybe I would switch the attack here because it is a lower number specifically. But I don't have the Radiant Biscuit though. So that is what I'm going to keep it at. So right here, it's a really, really, really buffed up version of the... Uh, basically toppings but to be very specific to classes very specific to uh you know the substat class that you get and then very 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 expensive the attack stat is 20 percent hp is 25 percent like the substats and the stat that you get is actually pretty insane um and this is applied to everything all right, so like if you can get it, it is going to be uh, something you want to, you know, farm and take time on. But yeah, that's the breakdown of the biscuits or the first show of how it works.